Hey guys, Toby with Vigilante Performance. Some of you may remember me from uh, some dyno videos I was doing when I was managing a different company. And obviously setting up combinations for customers, putting them on the dyno, and at the same time talking about that uh, you know engine, horsepower, and torque, etc. Obviously I'm not there anymore. I actually teamed up with my old uh, boss, now a partner, Mark O'Neill, who many of you know who started Pro Pistons and Coast High Performance back when it was the place to go buy engines and kits from. So we are gonna focus on uh, you know custom pistons, engine kits, etc. Uh, obviously cylinder heads as well. So if you can check us out at vigilanteparts.com. But today we're gonna talk about these Promax 2V cylinder heads. So these are supposed to be a bolt-on design for you 351 Cleveland guys. So let's check them out. We've got a nice intake runner design, nice big radius. It really looks more like a, a modern uh, intake runner. Let's see the exhaust. Same thing on the exhaust. Now remember it is a standard port design, so you're limited by the architecture of the factory in Cleveland, which means it's a, it's a really short radius on the exhaust. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it does affect the flow numbers. Um, but you know, obviously the intake's more important. Not that the exhaust isn't, but especially on a naturally aspirated engine, you want to make sure you can get as much in as possible. So the intake is very, very important. Now, these have a modern chamber. You can see that chamber design. It's nothing like what Ford had in the 70s. It's, uh, it's a modern design. In fact, it looks like something you'd see in a big block Chevy from like AFR or TFS, etc. Like I said, it's a, it's a much more modern, much more efficient chamber design. Now these heads, these 2V heads are set up for a 2.1 intake and a 1.65 exhaust valve. And they actually flow pretty well. How well? Let's check them out. I actually took the time to write down the numbers. So what I have here is Pmax, that's Promax, uh, VP for our flow numbers, and CHI. Why CHI? Because these really look like the CHI 2V cylinder heads. In fact, a friend of mine mentioned that the flow numbers that I got were very close to the 190cc CHI cylinder heads. So, let's see what we got. Nothing at 100 for Pro Max. We got 71. CHI is at 77. 200 lift. Pro Max 161. We got 149. CHI 147. At 300. 219. 210 for us, 207 CHI. You can see that our numbers are very close, CHI and our numbers. 400 lift, 268 for Promax, 256 for us, 255 for CHI. At 500, Promax got 306. We got 284, CHI 286. Nothing listed at 550 for Promax, but you can see we got 293, CHI 296. 600 lift, 330 CFM for Promax, 330 for us, and 300 for CHI. That's that's a big difference. 27 CFM right there. 650 again, nothing for Promax. 304 for us, 298 at CHI. 700 lift, 337 for Promax. 304 for us, 298 for CHI. At 750, they don't list anything, but we got 304. Now you can see here it, it's. It's funny how our numbers, 304, 304, 298, 298. So this head, oddly enough, you know, really mirrors what CHI got on their 190cc cylinder head. At 700 lift, uh, Promax is claiming 337. I mean, that's that's 33 CFM higher. So I'm not sure if they have a CNC ported version, and those are the numbers that they're showing online, but it's, it's pretty off to what we got. Um, but that's about it. I mean, I know flow numbers are not everything, but the truth is, uh, you know, if I had a Cleveland with factory 2V heads and bigger cam, better intake, etc., I definitely take these heads over uh, the factory, uh, you know, 2V heads. I mean, the reality is, let's say you're building a stroker, uh, you know, 383, 393, 408. Uh, by the time you actually take the heads apart, the factory Ford heads, right? Take them apart, you gotta clean them, you gotta bake them, you gotta magnaflux them, you know, do a valve job, replace valves, replace springs, etc. 
uh, you know, you're going to be into them for some, some pretty good money. And the truth is, they're just not going to flow. They're just not going to flow as much as this cylinder head or any aftermarket Cleveland. Uh, last I heard, the factory 2V heads were flowing about, what, about, I think, 220 CFM. So it's, it's pretty shy. It's pretty short. Now, uh, one thing about the Cleveland or any canned valve head is they have pretty good mid-lift numbers. And the reason for that is because they actually, as the valve opens, it actually moves towards the center of the cylinder or basically away from the cylinder uh, wall or away from the chamber. So that really does help with, you know, uh, improving the numbers. That's just the reality. So you know what I did is I actually took the time to flow test a set of brand new, in, in the box, or they were in the box, small block four 220 AFR heads. Why did I do that? Well, two reasons, really. Because I wanted to see our numbers versus their numbers. So if we can zoom in here, we can see that the numbers are pretty close. We got 137 at 200, they got 135, 194, 195 at three, 194 is what they got, 400, we got 249, they got 258, 500, 290, 295, 550, you know, they don't list anything, but it's, you know, 600, 310 versus 315. Point is, it's very, very close. Now, I'm not comparing the heads, you know, completely different uh, valve angles and basically completely different cylinder heads, but let's look at the numbers. If you were to compare uh, what we got at 100 lift, we got 71 CFM, you know, the AFR 220 was flown 65. 149 at 200 was flown 137. At 300 lift, 210 versus 195. 400 lift, 256 versus 249. 500, 284 versus 290. And, and basically at 500 lift, that's where the AFR 220 starts to take off. Like I said, I mean, it's obviously a very modern cylinder head. AFR's done their homework. So, you know, if you're building a, a Cleveland or building a Cleveland Stroker, or if you want to be different and you want to build a, a Cleaver, you know, Windsor-based uh, engine with Cleveland heads, then actually these are, you know, great flowing cylinder head and should be the ticket. But obviously if you're going more high-end or high-lift than a modern cylinder head like a TFS or an AFR head would work better for you. Anyway, that's, that's it for our video, so if you guys have any questions, just let us know. Thank you.